Welcome, Red Family. We're uh, sitting in a nice new electric Kia uh, provided to us by Boroughs. We're on our way to uh, uh, now, the hospice to pick up Dawn. Right. It's uh, our activation day with them. We're gonna pick her up, take her to the game. We play Huddersfield today. And hopefully this whole activation and the energy around town and the training field uh, will result in a good performance today. So I'm now quite excited to meet Don, who does a great job uh, for all the patients that need the help. And uh, a bonus is that we get to bring her husband to the game as well, who's a big Barnsley supporter over 40 years. That's what Barnsley does. Their absolute best on and off the field. As a club, we are trying to, uh, to be more green and eco friendly. Our electric cars, the way forward, or part of the way forward, do you think? Part. I think one else has to respect you in know, that the infrastructure is in place, so that people, you know, have a have a uh, you know normal normal car, and they should be allowed to have it. Uh, but I do think it's part of it. But for us as a club, we should definitely look at the all aspects to become a, kind of a green club, whether it's no plastic, you know. Can we have more electrical uh, charging pads at, the, at, the, at Oakville? And I asked the council of if that would be possible. It's our own little garden. At the second exit. Can we produce the food that we're gonna, you know, eat? Uh, so there's a lot of opportunities to make sure we we'll leave Barnsley in a better place than it is today, and not only for one generation, but many to come. 32, 34, it is 36. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Yes, nice to meet you. So Don, please tell me about what you do. I've been informed a bit in terms of, you know, um, you've been working there six years, you help with the fundraising. You call it hosp hospice? Hospice, yeah. Hospice. Like hospice, yeah. Um, I first got involved with Barnsley Hospice about 20 years ago when uh, uh, my dad was a patient there uh, and, and then my mum was a patient there uh, in 2008 and uh, both wishes were to um, end the time in there which they were very lucky to do mm -hmm. um, and it, at that time I worked um, for the mental health services so mm -hmm. From being 16, I've always worked in health mm -hmm. and always thought that Barnsley Hospice would be a place where I would um, become a member of staff. But I really do find it a very rewarding I was just job. Gonna, I was just going to ask how you also handle it, you know, um, with what's in one sense probably positive stories, but it's also at the end of the road and how you yourself stay positive. Yeah, and, and we get a lot of support, but I think it's being able to give people and the families and the friends um, a good experience when sometimes it's in a very difficult time of the life so yeah. we don't just look after the person the we look itself. after the family yeah. and that's the experience that I got when my mum and dad were in the uh, they didn't just look after the, my dad they looked yeah. after my mum they looked after me and they looked yeah. after my children yeah. um, my daughter learned to walk in, in Barnsley yeah, Hospice yeah, yeah. and um, my children are now uh, 24 and 20, but um, my son went to volunteer there um, as part of his, his training to be a pharmacist. So, okay. so we're able to give back um, in many different ways, I think. Um, and I always say it's not our hospice, it's the people of Barnsley's hospice. Yeah. And in quarter mile, leave the roundabout the second exit. are so generous, the people of Barnsley. Um, They'll give you the last penny in the pocket, um, and when I come across people, they are just so grateful for what we do. But we are equally as grateful for for their support because if it wasn't for people of Arnsley, we wouldn't be be able to keep the hospice open. That experience, both NHS and now with the hospice, 
how can we help? Because I, I know that players have kind of been there in the past, whether it's, you know, appearances. Uh, I think how I, do you think that could be even a stronger relationship? Because also being new here, I think I'm on my 10th week, is understanding how important Bars Barnsley Football Club is for this town. And then you have a place like Hospice that's also very important. Is there any way to build that relationship even stronger or deeper? I think just uh, us being uh, present at, uh, at the football ground and a lot of things are through social media at the moment, aren't they? So perhaps uh, working with our um, Ella who's our um, communications uh, lead to, you know, um, do s stuff like that, you know, on social media, like said, promotion, raise it, yeah, raising the awareness, the awareness yeah. yeah. Tell me, for someone that's new, how would you describe the town and the people of Barnsley? Uh, the people of Barnsley, uh, they are very friendly, welcoming and, and warm. And uh, I feel proud to be a Barnsley person, really. Nice. And the town itself? Uh, well, uh, there's a lot of investment uh, new investment in the town and uh, a lot of reconstruction and it's looking nice, lots of new bars opening and um, other like companies investing in Barnsley now so maybe this time next year it will be a different yeah. town.